Hello and welcome to the Light Institute Meditation and the Sanctuary of Light. And as you can see, I am not at the Sanctuary of Light because it is a very cold, snowy day and I am hoping that the fire that you see at my side will warm your heart because on this day, it is the day of Valentine's. It's a day of love that we celebrate and focus on love here in the United States. And every day is a good day for that focus. And so for those of you that are joining us today for this meditation, we do it in a very special way. We divide it into three parts. And in the first part, we ask our higher self to take form so that we are uplifting our energy into that spiritual uh, source that belongs to us. That's a source of cosmic love, of human love, of sense of self that is bigger than the struggles of life. And we ask our higher self to touch our body so that we can access that energy as something that is true to us, to our true selves. And then I'll make a little ohm sound. And you can push the button on your apparatus so that you can sit in meditation for as long as you like. And then the second part of the meditation is where we reach up into the cosmos and pull the beautiful white light. And today I have this sparkling, snowy white light uh, coming down in a channel down through the top of your head and into your solar plexus. This is the center of our emotional body so that it is quickened and uplifted as well. And then radiating that white light out. When you extend that white light out, it allows your electromagnetic energy, your presence to extend out from you. This is a time when our presence makes a difference and we want to be a part of what is outside us coming from what's inside us. Then there'll be another OM. And in the third part of the meditation today, uh, we will do a little special meditation on love, on the uh, qualities of love that you have within you that then can be shared into the world uh, because that's the true energy of Valentine's Day. All the kinds of love, the kinds of love that is the love of friendship, uh, the love of intellect, the love of emotion, the love of the divine, the love of the self, the love of the lover. All these qualities and different energies that are very specific to themselves of uh, the love that you carry. Because we carry love in all these octaves and we can wield them in these ways so that if it's a friend, we give the kind of love that is a part of friendship. Maybe it's the giggling. Maybe it's the uh, respect. Maybe it's the comfort uh, and the support. Whatever these kinds of loves are, that we can extend these loves on Valentine's Day and be the source of that love ourselves, and radiate it out into the world. And uh, today, uh, the world that I am focusing on are who are those who truly, truly need love today. Maybe it's the homeless, maybe it's the ill, maybe it's the people who are caught in places away from home, uh, immigrants that are looking for home. Whomever comes to you that your higher self shows you, you can focus on them and extend that love that comes, uh, it's the right kind of love, to them from you and in that way we wield uh, this point of reference that here in the United States we think of as Valentine's Day. Are you ready? Close your eyes. We begin with our breath so that as we exhale we move into a meditative state. So breathe in through your nose slowly and exhale through your mouth. Feel your brain relaxing. And once again, breathe in. And exhale slowly. Exhale. 
Ask your higher self, the intuitive essence of your soul, your own inner voice of wisdom and truth, to take a form for you. It could be a being, a light, a tree, an animal, a pattern. Just ask it to take form for you so that you can align to that higher presence, that higher knowing. Ask your higher self to touch your body where you hold that divine essence at this moment. Just imagine that touch and breathe in through that touch of your higher self. through that point of your spiritual essence. And now draw your higher self into your body through that point and sit in meditation as your own higher self. Om. Take a deep breath into your body and reach up with your consciousness into the cosmos and beam down a beautiful white light down through the top of your head, down through your heart, into your stomach, your solar plexus, and laser that white light out from you, stretching it out. Imagine that you're stretching it out across the planet, illuminating the planet and back up into the sky. And continue to breathe in as you draw the white light down and exhale as you laser it out from you. And just continue that breathing and light and breathing and light that brings you into a deeper and deeper meditation that amplifies your presence, that brings you forward into visibility potential. Take a deep breath into your body and bring your conscious awareness into your body and ask your higher self to touch the place in your body where you hold love all of the love repertoire that is within you. The love of a friend, the love of a lover, the love of a child or a parent, the love of the heart, the body, nature, all the kinds of loves, all of those elements and qualities of love. Find that point in your body that can hold that, prick it open, and allow your consciousness to experience at this moment these great qualities of love that it can be light, it can be full of laughter and human essence. And now ask your higher self to activate that energy in such a way that it flows through the trillions of cells of your body. So that again, all the levels, your physical body, your emotional body, your spiritual mind bodies, all are accessing different elements and qualities of love. And above all, love for the self. Because until we feel the love of ourselves, that extension of love, that infusion of love into the world is limited. So let that energy that your higher self is freeing in you flow through your body and allow yourself to feel it. Is it sweet? Is it, is it fast? Is it gentle? Does it pulse? all the ways that you could perceive this love moving through you now and activating 
that acknowledgement of yourself, of your soul and body, your spirit and body. And feel that love moving in you until you actually feel as if your cells are filling, that your body is filling with love. And now ask your higher self to show you any group of people, anyone to whom you need to send this love, anyone who needs love at this moment. Maybe it's someone who's suffering or someone who's lonely or someone who is caught away from their home, away from their family, away from their lives. Just see who comes to you that your higher self shows you who need your love. It might be all of humanity that comes into your mind's eye. Just see what is shown to you that belongs to you as the giver as the source of love to transmit to them at this moment. And now take a deep breath and just feel that you're gathering up the, all of those elements, those qualities, those potentials of the energy of love. Love is the essence of life. It's the essence of source. Gather it up. And as you take a deep breath, extend that love into whomever came into your mind's eye that needed love at this moment. And feel that energy, all of those qualities flowing through you and out. It will not diminish the energy of the love in you. It will only activate that energy in you as if it were an eternal source radiated out to all of those who need love and perhaps those who need your love even as a person, a friend, a soul family. Send that love to them and just feel the wonderment of being able to do this. Do it now. And you may feel energies coming back to you. That as you infuse that love out to those that need it, it awakens them and they extend a love back. So just feel the harmony and the motion of love however it is for you. And take a deep breath into your body and open your eyes. Love is one of the great potentials of our purpose and our destiny and our evolution to polish that, that human love, radiate it out into this world in which we live and on into the cosmos, on into the future. And so I send you all of my love and happy, happy, Valentine's Day from its true potential to you. <laughs>